What's going on guys? I hope you all are having a marvelous day. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about clickbaiting. But before I start this video, you guys can see I'm using the ELO site. Something I've been using a lot recently. I love it. I've been using it for two days now. Uh, I'm going to continue to use it. See if I like it anymore. It only requires one point, so why not use it? You guys understand my pain. Look at this guy's about to get raped. That's also fine. Oh, God. Oh, I'm about to get raped too. Oh, I'm the fucking best. But in today's video, I don't really want to cut much. I just want to talk to hard talk. I'm hard to heart. You know, I'm going to try not to cut at least as possible. But I'm going to be talking about clickbaiting. Now, clickbaiting is something that's been done for the past few years. Everyone does it. Everyone wants views on the video. And they're going to do it to try to attract more viewers without, for obvious reasons. They want more views on the video. They want more attention. They want more subscribers, etc., etc. So that's what a lot of people have been doing recently. Now, I got a tweet yesterday. I got a tweet. A tweet that made me kind of want to do this video to begin with. He tweeted me, Apathy. You know, I love you, man. Uh, I, I I don't know exact words, so I'm gonna try to do the best I can. He's pretty. He pretty much said, <coughs> he said, Apathy, I love you, man. You're the fucking best player in the game. But lately, you've been just click baiting, doing like click baits on your video. It's really been putting me off. So whatever you do, man, I support you. But I, I guess like you know, it's just been putting him off. He doesn't want to watch any more of my videos because I'm click baiting too much. Now I did do. I can understand three videos lately that I probably did a slightly click bait. Now, Impersonating Scumpy, uh, I titled that as my first time uh, doing my q and I did that because the intro was me impersonating Scumpy. Now, was that a huge clickbait? That was probably my biggest clickbait in forever because I rarely ever do clickbaits. And then on top of that, what was the next one? And then I changed it to giving advice to AMs, which that's basically what I did. I gave advice to amateur players. And I changed the title because I felt bad and I do apologize now to everybody who's watching or who watched that video. I apologize for kind of clickbaiting it. I know, I know a lot of you guys support me and I'm sorry. I don't want to clickbait. I want you guys just to watch me for my content, obviously. But I don't want the title to be the reason, you know, you don't watch my videos. Uh, but, alright, so to, to the next subject. So he told me that and, you know, I understand that. You know, that's my fault. It was kind of a clickbait. I apologize. Now, he also talked about, I guess, my Black Ops 3 Save My Life video. And I don't see that really being that big of a clickbait because in the video I talk about and I explain like thoroughly that how Black Ops 3 has changed my life for better and, and it hasn't literally saved my life. Obviously Black Ops 3, you know, to have, for Black Ops 3 to literally save your life, like, oh my god, that that's a video of a lifetime for it to actually happen. So I titled it that because it has changed my life for the better, you know, things for me is already going very good on Black Ops 3. Uh, uh, despite Saints leaving and us not qualifying, but overall, you know, I'm, I'm having better opportunities. My YouTube channel is growing. Everything's just better. So I'm very grateful for that. So I guess that's what that video he, he considered a click, click bait as well. But I'm here to tell you guys, click baiting is not the worst thing on earth. Now it's a insane click bait, and I mean insane. Like this guy is completely telling you something, and the video is the complete opposite, and it's a very huge click bait. Yo, shut up, man! I'm talking to my YouTube. So then I understand, you know, you can be slightly upset like the person A Scumpy one. I think it was a little bit far for obvious reasons. And I, I, I apologize on Twitter. You know, I changed the title to something else and that was the end of it. But with that being said, uh, I think like what well, people understand, a lot of YouTubers, especially big, it's big YouTubers that are now, first of all, they clickbait probably all the time. And if they don't clickbait all the time, it's because now they have an audience and they have a big following. So they don't need to clickbait because they know the people who, are, who follow them are going to watch the video regardless. But for smaller YouTubers, and they still do it even then. But they don't. nobody hates them for it. You know, they find it funny. Like Tico did his car video that he bought a BMW, whatever. And it's, it's a... It's a it's a, it's technically a clickbait in a way because he he didn't buy an actually BMW. He got like a small one, a small one, but it wasn't that bad of a clickbait. And I thought it was a very good video. Everybody loved it. They watched it. Now if you titled it something else, you probably wouldn't have got as much views or as much attention. But my point is here and here. Everyone's gonna clickbait. It's it's normal. It happens. You know, it's part of YouTube. And smaller YouTubers are gonna do it just more because they want more attention on their channel. They want people to see, you know, their videos. They they probably think they put a good work on it. And it, you guys can't say, oh, it's a clickbait video. It's wrong. All this shit. When like I see a lot of people who click who do like clickbait videos, like it's just clickbaiting is obviously the title. You know, titling something that has nothing to do with the video. I see people do it all the time. And some I, the only time I get very pissed is when someone titles it something that's completely off subject, like. You title it, Black Ops 3 is the best game on earth, and he's over there playing tennis. Now, that's a pretty big, bad clickbait. But for over everything, like, guys, you gotta understand, smaller YouTubers wanna grow, smaller YouTubers wanna be better. 
and they need attention. Like, if a guy with 500 subscribers, you or like 5,000 subscribers, you think his video is gonna do very good if he titles it like Blant titles and nothing like interesting. Like, he has to, he has to stir it up sometimes, spice up the titles to grab attention and help his YouTube grow, YouTube channel grow. So I really don't. I just hate seeing that type of hate. And this all started because of that tweet I got. And I just wanted to talk about it. You know, whole clickbaiting subject. And I just hope you guys kind of feel the same way. I know a lot of you guys get mad of it, mad at it. And I'm like, I'm working on myself. I'm gonna try to over time really focus on not clickbaiting as much and titling my my videos more with the video rather than just titling it, you know, to try to get your attention. I know I do that sometimes and I'm sorry. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm gonna try to fix that with myself. I really do want to grow my YouTube. I really do want to be better at this. I really do want to grow an audience and grow a following. And I want to show you guys my, my like, I want to share with you guys my life. And I want to share with you guys my thoughts, my opinions, my experiences. And I just want to do that with you guys. And I, and, I, and that's what I want. And I want to like inspire you guys. I want to do so much I want to motivate you guys so I know with that I need a big following so hopefully over time my channel goes more and more but this is just a little subject I wanted to talk to you guys about and I hope you really enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment subscribe it's been your boy Afti and I'm out peace